Welcome back, boys and girls. Our story today is floppy. I figured since we had Easter, that this will be a good story to read because our question is, what did the Easter Bunny come to your house and what did he bring? Remember, that's your writing prompt. So write it on a piece of paper, draw me a picture, two sentences. All right, here we go. Flop ear. By Guido van Genetchen, which means he's the illustrator and the author. He wrote the book and he drew the pictures. Rabbits come in all shapes and sizes. There are big rabbits and little rabbits, fat rabbits and thin rabbits, girl rabbits and boy rabbits, and they all have two long ears. Flop Ear had two long ears too, only Flop Ears were different. What do you notice different about Flop Ears? Right, one stands up and the other one's flopped down. Probably how he got his name, Flop Ear, right? Because one of them is flopped down. All the other rabbits had ears that stood straight up, but Flop Ear's right ear hung down. Flop Ear, Flop Ear, they shouted at him. Why can't you stick your ear up like us? Oh boy, look at those illustrations. Those illustrations, how is Flop Ear feeling right now? Yeah, he's feeling sad. You could look, he's got his hands over his head. He's got sad eyes. And then look at the other rabbits over around here. Look at them, are they being nice? No, they're laughing at him. They're making fun of him. They're bullying him, being mean to him. And it's hurting poor Floppier's feelings. That wasn't very nice of those rabbits, was it? Floppier longed to have two straight ears, but how? When he hung upside down, his ears were quite straight. But he couldn't spend all of his time like that. He could spend his whole life upside down, could he? Look at hanging in a tree. No, but now they're straight up and down. Flop Ear tried hiding his ears under his grandma's lampshade. It was hot and uncomfortable. And the other rabbits laughed at him. And they're pointing and laughing at him. Ha, ha, ha. Still not very kind of those rabbits. Are they showing the Knight's Code by being respectful? Absolutely not. Using kind words, they are not. Flop Ear propped his ear up with a carrot. He tied it to a stick with some string. Well, that made it stay up for a little bit, but probably not for very long. What do you think? What would you do? If you were Flop Ear, how would you get your ear to stand up? Oh, that might work. Let's see what else he tried. He wrapped his ear in a big bandage. He tried a clothespin and on the end of his dad's fishing rod. So he just walked around with a clothespin on his ear holding it up. He even held his ear up with a balloon. That's Good thinking. The other rabbits were laughing so much that they nearly cried. And they are still making so much fun of him. Poor Flop Ear. Poor Flop Ear. Nothing seemed to work. By now he was very sad. I'll just cut my ear off and never ever see those rabbits again. Flop Ear sat down all by himself and cried. Now look it, they hurt his feelings so much that he wants to cry and cut his ear off. Ouch, can you imagine what that feels like? No way. So the next day Flop Ear went to the doctor. The doctor examined both of his ears. Hmm, you know, there's really nothing wrong with that ear. It hears perfectly well. Besides, all ears are different. Here, have a nice carrot. They're good for you. So did the doctor say there was anything wrong with him? No, he says everybody's different. Ooh, we read another story about everybody being different. Do you remember the tiger and how he grew at his own pace and he was different from the other animals? Yeah, same kind of story, right? On his way home, Flop Ear thought about what the doctor said. It was true, all ears were different. It's just that I have two different ears, one standing up and one laying down. Flop Ear laughed at himself, one up, one down. He felt much happier. The other rabbits saw him coming and shouted, hey, there's Flop Ear. They were all so pleased to see him. 
Why do you think they were pleased to see him? What are they going to do? Do you think they're going to be nice to him or are they going to make fun of him? Life's been really boring without you, Flop Ear. Do you have a new ear tricks to show us? Well, I do know one. Soon, all the rabbits were tying carrots to their ears, one ear up and one ear down. What fun they all had, and they were all the same. Look it, so instead of him making his go up, the other one, bunnies made their ears go down. Yeah. And now look at everybody's having fun and Floppy's not feeling so sad anymore. What a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed our story about Floppy. All right, now remember, you're writing. Did the Easter Bunny come to your house? What did he bring? See you soon.